What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I don't think a lot of people know this, but Activator actually works on iOS 14. At least it works up to 14.3. I haven't tested this on my iPhone 10, uh, which is jailbroken on 14.7, but it does work on iOS 14.3. Now, if you guys don't know what Activator is, it's an absolute powerhouse of a tweak. So first off, in order to get it, uh, you will have to install two different packages here. Uh, you need the Activator tweak itself, and that does have a, deep, a dependency of flip switch, which will install automatically with it. As you can see, iOS 14 is not supported yet, um, but then you go ahead and install Activator Crash Fix, uh, from this repo here, the club jailbreak repo, I'll leave it listed in the description. But once you've installed those three uh, packages, Activator does work. Now, basically what Activator lets you do is assign different gestures to different actions. And it's really quite limitless what you can do with it. You could um, have it set up so that when you put your AirPods in, the iPhone will detect your AirPods and it'll automatically launch like Apple Music. So as soon as you put your AirPods in, your iPhone opens to Apple Music, stuff like that. But what I mainly like to use Activator for is um, kind of like um, safeguards for my jailbreak. So when you play around with a lot of tweaks or you have a lot of tweaks, it can make your iPhone a little glitchy sometimes or if you're trying out a new tweak, maybe there's a conflict. Um, and sometimes in rare occasions, what can happen is your screen will freeze and basically the only fix is to, you know, uh, go out of the jailbroken state and then re jailbreak in safe mode and then uninstall that tweak. But that's very time consuming and super annoying to do. So just for example, I'm going to, uh, select, so basically you can select anywhere you can select at home screen in a specific application, at the lock screen in menus, you can block list, you have more actions. Uh, this, this tweak really goes in depth. And like I said, you can really do a lot with it, but I want to keep it basic and just show you guys what I do to just, you know, make my, my jailbreak a little bit more safe. So I click anywhere and then I'm going to assign a action. So as you can see, these are all the different actions you can choose from when your Apple Watch is connected, when specific Bluetooth devices are connected, uh, when it's locked or unlocked, uh, gesture tap, so double tap um, on the status bar, media playback motion, uh, so on and so forth. So I'm going to assign specific hardware buttons because if your screen is frozen, you can't use your touch display to activate a action, but you can always activate an action with the physical buttons on your iPhone like the volume up, the volume down, the side button, and even the mute switch can be used even if your screen is frozen. So what I'm going to do is choose, I guess, the sleep button. I think they renamed it to side button. So I'm going to triple press the side button. And what I'm going to have that button do is I'm going to have it put my iPhone into safe mode. So let me go ahead and just find uh, safe mode, which should be down here. So as you can see, I could have it do many different things. I could have it, you know, I could activate low power mode, um, you know, a bunch of different stuff. Actually, it should be down here in system actions, I believe. Yeah, so here we go. So you can assign buttons to do a respring or safe mode. So now that I have the triple press of the side button, or sleep button, it will it will put me into safe mode. So another thing I could do is assign a respring too. So sometimes just doing a respring can get you out of a pickle. So to do that, I'm gonna choose uh, the volume buttons if I can find where those are. Two fingers, so here we go, volume buttons. So I'm gonna do, um, I'll do, I guess, down, up. And then for this, I'm gonna assign this for a respring right here. So now when I exit activator, I can do volume down, volume up, and it will perform a respring as you guys can see there. So just like that. So if my screen is frozen, I can force a respring. 
or I can triple press the side button now and just put it into safe mode. So there you go. We're gonna go ahead and put it into safe mode. And now when I slide to unlock, as you can see, I am in safe mode. So that, just that alone is an absolute lifesaver. If you are a jailbreaker, I cannot stress how important that is. Just remember what your gestures are. So just remember that if you do it the same as me, um, that your side button, triple press, will put you into safe mode. So if you need to fix your iPhone, you can. And if you want to force a respring, just volume down, volume up, and it will respring. Super functional and incredibly powerful tweak. Like I said, I didn't even barely scratch the surface, but it's kind of one of those tweaks where you just kind of, you know, cater your setups for this to what you need your iPhone to do. There's a ton of different, I mean, you can change your screenshot, you know, action. You can change how Siri is activated. You can, you know, have your iPhone go into low power mode when you connect it to, you know, your charger. You can, you can do a million things with this tweak. It's incredibly powerful and it is working on iOS 14 as you guys can see. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.